Welcome to this MOOC about the circular economy and thank you for joining us. In this first lesson we will talk about the main principles of the circular economy. As you saw in the video, the circular economy is inspired by living systems. So what are the characteristics of living systems? And how do they relate to our man-made systems? First of all, there is no such thing as waste in living systems. One species waste becomes another species food. A dead owl turns into nutrients for the soil. How can we replicate this idea in our man-made systems? If we redesign products so that they could be reused or disassembled at the end of life, we could keep those products and their materials at their highest value at all times. At its core, the circular economy is about waste equals food. This is the first principle. Secondly, living systems are diverse. Many, many species contribute to the overall health of a system. Greater biodiversity supports a system at a time of shock. An economy, a nation or a company can derive greater value from diversity by sharing strengths and having a greater pool of resources to draw on. Such a system would also be better able to bounce back from disruptive events. This second principle of the circular economy is build resilience through diversity. Thirdly, living systems are powered by renewable sources. In this case, the power comes from the sun. If we are to build a circular economic system to work in the long term, then we need to draw inspiration from the third principle, which is to work towards energy from renewable sources. A circular economy isn't about one firm changing one product. It's about many actors working together to create effective flows of materials and information, with everything increasingly powered by renewable energy. What I have just described here is an example of a system we could create. When we think in systems, we begin to see the connections between people, places and ideas we become less likely to be surprised by negative consequences of poor planning. Instead, we begin to see how we can create opportunities to generate economic, environmental and societal gains. This is why we need to think in systems, and that is the fourth principle of the circular economy. In this world of increasing demands, a linear system simply will not work. Governments, companies and societies are looking to the circular economy as a way ahead. In our next video, we will explore why we need a circular economy.